Hi everyone, we're going to try and remove some background noise. Have a little listen. I'm going to turn the repair on and off that we're going to do. Uh, let's have a listen. All right, to look at uh, repair, we're going to try and remove some background noise. You can probably hear it, maybe. Uh, I've got an electric fan plug. Can you see that? Hopefully you can hear it anyway. There's a bit of a hiss in the background from a fan, and we can turn it on and off using Essential Sounds Repair. All right, let's jump in now, and I'll show you how. All right, to remove it, let's find, I've got some footage in here that uh, is has the bad audio in it. And for some reason, I left it in the audio actual folder. But it's got, it's got video on it. Bad me. Okay, uh, let's leave it in there for the tutorial so that you don't get lost. So under audio, something called bad audio background. Let's find it. Let's make a sequence from it. We won't dump it into our current sequence. So right click it, go to new sequence from clip. Okay, and let's name this clip. Let's call this one audio fixing. And we'll use this for a few of the next tutorials as well. Remember to get this out of here. Click hold, drag it to the left. Kind of comes out, close it up. Ha, there we are. Okay, so let's have a little listen together. We'll play it all the way through because I do end up describing stuff. So let's have a listen. All right, to look at uh, repair, we're going to try and remove some background noise. You can probably hear it, maybe. Uh, I've got an electric fan plugged in, okay, uh, and yeah, it's humming away in the background. It's consistent, which is useful, okay, for getting rid of background noises, maybe fridges, uh, aircon, fans. Let's see if we can repair it now. All right, so that is it. You can kind of hear, I've left the gap at the beginning here of it because it's very clear by itself. Listen, can you hear it humming? And I can see it humming. Can you see down here? This is... We'll call, like, what we're going to do is remove, like, tidy up the noise floor, okay? So kind of like this stuff down the bottom here, this background goop, okay? And now um, ours is coming from a fan that I purposely put on, like a little fan heater, but it works really good as well for, like, fridges, aircon. It works really, really good for microphones as well. So if you've got a microphone that's got a background hiss, okay, it might be that you're probably pushing it past its operating, you know? If you, if you find you've got this, like, in the background, it means your microphone's not happy, Okay, and it's not the scope of this course to go through and fix your microphone, but check out things like raising the noise floor for microphones. Normally it's to do with your preamp. Anyway, it's a bit nerdy. Let's say we want to get rid of it. Okay, so to do it, have your clip selected, find your essential sounds. Remember, if you can't find it, window, essential sounds. And we're going to, in our case, it's dialogue. Okay, I want to try and get rid of it from behind me. And there's lots of things in here. I like to click these buttons just to tidy everything up. Okay, clean them all up and click on repair. And you want this one here that says reduce noise. Turn that on. It's set to five by default and that's probably gonna work. So back to the beginning, have a listen. All right, to look at uh, repair. Pretty good, huh? Now it's pretty amazing for those background noises. Like I just literally grabbed the fan and tried to break it and it fixes it up nicely. Now it's really good with consistent sounds. When there's kind of cars in the background and it's all up and down and it doesn't, it's not that good. It'll tidy it up. Now we've used uh, reduced noise uh, at default kind of halfway at strength. You can turn it up and down, but let's have a little listen. I'll show you how to like preview it because you're like, sounds the same. And um, the way to do it is see this little tick next to repair. Okay, I'm gonna hit spacebar to play and I'm gonna turn this on and off as it goes through. So you watch my tick and just give it a listen um, to what's going on. You might have to turn your volume up to hear it. So we'll turn it off first. On. All right, to look at- Do you hear it there? One right. more time. Okay, you can see it there. Um, well, you can see it actually in here, watch this. So the noise floor down the bottom here with it off, you see it jumps up to about minus 36 decibels. Whereas if I have it on, look what happens, it's a lot lower. It's still there. You gotta decide whether it's noticeable enough for you. There will always be something jumping around on the bottom here. Okay, you wanna try and clean it up as much as you can. The trouble is, is if I crank the reduced noise up, it'll go, watch this. But, all right, to look at uh, repair, we're going to try and remove some background noise. You can probably There's a weirdness that happens to your voice. You might decide that it's perfectly fine, uh, but I notice it. Probably hear it, maybe. Uh, I've got an electric fan. Will the audience notice it? You might because you've heard me so much in this course so far, but let's say I'm sending this out for, I don't know, a YouTube video. Nobody's probably gonna notice. They'll probably notice more. Hey, troll you on YouTube. Um, there's a bad noise in the background, but 
sending tiny bit robotic might be okay. Now we're using reduce noise, which works perfect for this example. Reduce rumble can help as well. Like it says, if you hover above it, it's kind of for low frequency noises. Uh, so you can play around with a uh, reduce rumble. Don't worry that like, hey, he said reduce noise works for background and you're only gonna use this. You might have to use a teeny tiny bit of all of this stuff. So it really depends. Everyone's situation is different. So you might whack them all on and just see where you go. Okay, dehiss, reverb. We're gonna carry a couple of more of these, a couple of more uh, in the upcoming classes, but play around with them, drag them up and down. And you know, the cool thing about it is while you're doing it, okay, you can raise and lower this. Okay, right, so you can look kind at, of uh, get a sense for it going. as you're going. Again, often headphones can be really useful for this because if you're just listening through your computer speakers, they're really like, they, you know, they sound quite good. <laughs> and then somebody picks the headphones on, you're like, wow, it's not as good as you thought. All right, that is repairing background noises in videos in Premiere Pro. Let's get on to the next video. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel here. And also, if you want to go a bit further with Premiere Pro, consider checking out my Premiere Pro Essentials course. There is a link in the description. Bye now.